are you in that point in your business where you're just like, I want people in my community, I want people in my programs, I want to be coaching more, I want to be selling more widgets, I want people to buy my stuff. If you are, just know, I might have something you need. Hi, I'm Africa Artshield, and I'm your guide when you want to play at the intersection of spirituality, lifestyle, and business. And today we're going to talk about how do you really entice people to buy your stuff? You're probably not that crass about it, are you? First, let me say it is a journey. You're going to, of course, there's just practical things that you always hear. So I'm just going to give us the baseline. You have to have no like trust. They have to know who you are. They have to trust that you're actually going to deliver on it. And they have to like you because people buy from people. At least those are the people that I tend to serve. Knowing that there has to be that no like trust factor, there's got to be some ways to build that and some ways to build upon that so that we can move people from knowing about us to actually buying from us. Let's look at the first thing, ask. It's very interesting that people will just hope others will buy from them, especially the kind of women that I serve. You are spiritual, you are socially conscious, and you don't want to be pushy. You don't want to be salesy. So you just might never ask anyone to buy from you or let them know you even have anything for sale. So it's not enough that they know what you do. They have to know they can actually purchase whatever widget or service or whatever it is from you as well and how to do so. And not just one time, they've got to know multiple times because you know what? We take in a lot of bits of information every single day. And as human beings, we, we tend to forget, right? It's not that we don't like you or we didn't know you or we didn't trust you. We just forgot you did the whole thing. So make sure that you are asking on a fairly consistent basis and you're sharing what you do and you're sharing how people can purchase from you. Number two, give them some breadcrumbs. Give them a trail to follow so they can get to where you want them to go. A lot of times we call this building a funnel. So don't be afraid just because I said the word funnel. That's why I use the word breadcrumbs because I think you can get that a little better. <laughs> Without freaking out. So you're just going to make sure they have a path to follow. That's really all a funnel is, is knowing where they're going to enter the path, making sure there's a breadcrumb, paving stone, so they can get to the next place, whatever that milestone is. So maybe they're entering your funnel, right? They're entering the path because they saw a magnificent post that you wrote or a video that you did or an interview that you were on. And now they're like, oh, she seems pretty interesting. And they might watch something else or read something else. And oh, still interesting. Oh, oh, she has a thing where I can get on her email list. She has this opt-in that I can use. Uh, I think I'll get that opt-in. You're anticipating what they need along the way. One of the ways I talk to my clients about this is developing customer pathways because different customers come to us for different reasons. But eventually, they're all going to the same place. So anticipating what those entry points will be and then moving them along the path to where now you're engaging with them, they are now on your email list, which by the way you own, and that is a very important thing. So now they're on your email list, they're still getting more and more information from you, and now maybe they're going to a free webinar, they're getting more information from you, and then maybe at this point it's when you say, hey, if you've liked all this free stuff I've been giving you, you're going to really have your mind blown by the paid stuff that I have. And it might be something a little low end, it might be something high end, depends on your funnel and your type of customers that you have. 
But thinking of that customer experience pathway and all the different ways they're coming in and the different reasons they're coming into your world will help you a whole lot. And again, it's just a pathway, which in the industry they call a funnel. Before we get to number three, I would love to know in the comments below, if you've developed a customer experience pathway, AKA a funnel, just comment below with pathway or funnel. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see who has made this transition in their business. And if you've had some problems with it, it's not quite working as expected or even starting the process is kind of freaking you out. Let me know in the comments below. Chances are you might be feeling a little overwhelmed and I would love to invite you to my Banish Business Overwhelm Masterclass. Well, we won't be going through how to create a funnel. We'll talk about some of the other things that might be giving you overwhelm and how to banish those from your business. Now, if you like the content we've been talking about so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content just like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Now, let me get to number three. Be the show. Be the show. That's how you get more clients, more fans, more followers. Be the show. Put your personality out there be loud and proud about who you are and what you stand for and what you want to do for others. Be the show. I mean, you'll be shining so brightly people can't help but notice you and follow you and tell their friends to follow you too. It becomes a snowball effect. And it's not so much, and again, I'm giving you options here, it's not so much about developing a hard and fast funnel. This takes a little longer, but if you know that you can really put yourself out there or you, you are super ready to embrace fame in all of its components, be the show and people will find you, follow you and tell their friends. And that will lead to more clients for you. And if you've enjoyed me being the show right now, go ahead, take a picture and tag me on Instagram. I would love to hang out with you there. And I will be sure to shout you out. And with that, peace, joy, love to you. Okay, get out of the chair. It is very spooky. Okay, ready? Push the chair away from you. There we go. <laughs> squeak, 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 squeak. I breathed. I can't squeak. <laughs>